forecast. Sam, you got any bear spray I can borrow? <laughs> well, actually, I don't, Lauren. Uh, I went fly fishing up in Yellowstone. I think it was two years ago, and I had the option of buying bear spray, and I didn't. Oh, and you survived. Yeah, and I still survived. Everything went smoothly. I didn't see any bears fishing, but uh, it was one of those things I probably should have done just okay. in case. Yeah, you know. We'll make a group outing. Yeah, yeah. Be better, better safe than Good. sorry. Okay. Let's do that. Here's your uh, shot of uh, Monument Community Bank's uh, Colorado camera. Uh, giving you this one. It's pointed south and obviously the haze off in the distance, but a lot of sunshine out there and absolutely no rain chances uh, for at least the next seven days. We should be staying dry even into the middle of next week, and it's possible we don't see rain for about two weeks. I wanted to show you the satellite feed because it's showing a pretty cool image. This is the smoke coming out of the Mullen fire in southern Wyoming. Notice it's moving southeast uh, because of those northwesterly winds headed straight into Denver. Uh, so air qualities are not great, especially in northern Colorado. Central and southern Colorado, yeah, we're seeing some smoke and haze out there, but uh, air qualities again still listed at moderate. I wanted to show the radar very quickly, especially a wide view, just so you could see this high pressure located in Idaho, and uh, it is channeling uh, some of that haze our way. And when you compare that with the upper level winds, you can also see the high pressure located in the Pacific Northwest. This pattern of ridging across the western United States isn't changing for at least the next three or four days. So these northerly winds that we're seeing in Colorado, those upper level northerly winds will potentially be transporting smoke into central Colorado for a couple of days. Now it is possible with just slight changes in wind direction that we could clear out briefly, then see some brief periods of uh, light to moderate smoke. Haze forecasting is quite difficult, and especially when you're uh, dealing with wildfire fires. They're very erratic. They can move uh, very quickly. So it is something to just pay attention to over the next few days. The air quality alerts, though, they're in effect until 9 o'clock tomorrow morning along the I-25 corridor all the way through into Los Angeles County, south of Trinidad, actually seeing some thick smoke as well. Temperatures right now 74 in the spring, similar in Werfano, 81 in Lamar, 75 out in Burlington, all of us slightly above average for this time of the year. So today, yes, we're on the warm side, but not so much for tomorrow. Uh, back down to seasonal temps, back into the 60s for us in the spring, 64 up into Monument Hill, 63 in Woodland Park, Wilkerson Pass, typically uh, into the 50s. And these easterly winds still helping smoke channel along the I-25 corridor, 14 miles an hour in Pueblo. Maybe a light breeze out in the plains. Our wind gusts today have been hitting at about 25, 30 miles an hour for Burlington and Springfield. Colorado Springs, we maxed out at a 21 mile an hour wind gust, and all of these winds will calm down pretty quickly overnight tonight. And uh, a light breeze also in the forecast tomorrow, so maybe just uh, breezy next few days. 40 degrees in Trinidad overnight, 27 in Leadville with our temperatures tomorrow. Like I said, much cooler, 70 uh, for Pueblo residents, high 60s for us in the springs, 69 degrees in Trinidad, so a much more comfortable Thursday. Plenty of sunshine tomorrow, no rain chances. Uh, just keep an eye out for some of that haze. Here's your Woodland Park 7-day forecast, low 60s as I was mentioning, entering into a little warming trend though into the weekend forecast, high 70s for Saturday and sunny, uh, Sunday in Canyon City with uh, no chance of rain even through next week. Pueblo sitting at 80 degrees on Saturday, just a gorgeous weekend ahead. Make sure you take advantage of it while it lasts because we know winter is right around the corner uh, in Colorado. Colorado Springs at 66 tomorrow, lows in the high 30s. Lauren, Heather. Hey, it looks awesome.